All right, so if you're looking to get your podcast on with some live streaming, well, the Hainer Seek podcast equipment bundle with an audio interface could be the thing you're looking for. Great, fantastic sound and features without breaking the bank. My thoughts on it up next. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose Tech. Checking out some cool stuff and giving you my thoughts on it. And like I said before, we take a look at the Hainer Seek podcast equipment bundle with an audio interface. Now, why would you want to get into this? This is a great and easy entry to barrier of doing podcasting and live streaming. This falls in just below $200. And let me tell you something you can probably already hear right now because we're using the microphone throughout this entire uh, impressions and review video. This thing does sound better than you would actually think it would be. It, it would sound. A fully featured audio interface that you can con connect tons of things to it, go live online, live phone calls, and just have effects for days for your enjoyment. So before we get, so let's just get on with this. Yeah, so let's just get on with it. All right, so the first thing I want to start off with right now is the actual sound of the microphone or actually the things that comes with this kit. You have your audio interface. You have several connections that come with it. It comes with a, uh, you have your boom arm right here. Uh, it comes with an XLR cable to XLR mini. Uh, you have little uh, ties uh, ties right here to hold down your XLR wire. Of course, you have our microphone. This is the Hainer Seek T0380C. Uh, this is a 25 millimeter microphone, and you can probably tell it, it, there is a, a, a smaller version of it, but this is a higher version one where you get the best sound for your voice coming into this microphone. And when I was doing my tests for like a good week, this thing sounded way better than I thought. And I'm just going to tell you right now at the beginning of this video, the sound of this interface is the steal of the show when it comes to this entire interface. So you have nothing to worry about when it comes to sounding pretty good with this setup. All right. So, of course, you have your shock mount, you have your windscreen, and of course, you have a separate uh, pop filter as well. Moving to our actual audio interface, as uh, the outside is made out of metal on the top. You got plastic on the bottom. It is a very light piece of equipment. It's not heavy at all. Very portable. You can just sl slip this into your book bag or just walk around like a book or, you know, your laptop bag or whatever. This will just slide into anywhere. Um, it does come with some cables. It has a cable that you connect to your smartphone. So we'll do a test on that later. Uh, you have a USB-C cable that connects to your laptop for either charging or using it as an audio interface. All right. So let's get to the actual interface itself. I'm going to flip this over and show you the actual top connections of what we're looking looking at. Uh, let's flip the video around. And you can see right here on the left side, we have our dynamic microphone port. So if you have a dynamic microphone you like to connect into here, you can connect it right here uh, as well. Now we have our live one and live two. What this allows you to do is connect your tablet or your or your smartphone to this device. And you, you can actually communicate, whether it's over a telephone call or a Zoom call, you can interact with the caller through this interface. Now, again, there's two of them. So if you want to be like kind of like a radio DJ fashion, you can have like caller number one, caller number two. You can you have a lot of multiple options to really make this as far as interactive as your imagination can get. Uh, moving on, you have your mic one and mic two. You can connect additional microphones to this microphone kit. If you wanted to do that, uh, you know, if you had higher quality microphones or just whatever kind of microphone, uh, you would connect that to an audio interface and you would use either the line out or the headphone out and connect it into here. So you can add this microphone so you can get the sound coming from that mic to the interface to this interface too. Uh, you have a charging port using USB-C. Uh, you have a PC port so you can use this as an audio interface. When you connect this to your uh, to your PC audio interface, you can also it also charges your device as you can see by the battery right here. With that being said, I'm going to actually disconnect it from the PC. And now we're actually going no power right now. We're just going with the internal uh, battery pack of the interface. And you can see right now we have a full battery and we're going to see how much battery we get throughout this entire review. So stick around uh, for that one. You don't want to miss out on that. Moving next, we have our monitor out. So you can actually connect this to like uh, your speaker, such as this right here. We have our headphones out. The headphones that comes with the device is just uncharacteristically long. It's like, I don't know who needs such a long headphone. Um, I don't know where you're setting this thing up, but yeah, just keep in mind, it sounds really long. Um, moving on, we have our music out. Now I have this going to my laptop. And of course, we have our speaker out, and this is actually going to my, uh, my handy recorder where we're actually recording this entire thing right now on this device. So everything that you're gonna be here is being captured. So I can actually sync it up with my video later on. Um, yeah, all right, so these are the features of the audio interface and a microphone and things like that. Now let's see what this can actually do. Let's let's take a deeper dive. Starting from the top left, uh, really simple. 
You can see here that we have our treble and our bass controls. Obviously, if you you can reduce the treble or you can add treble, as you can hear it affecting my voice. Then you have your bass as well, so you can reduce the bass or add more bass to it. And this only affects your voice coming from the microphone. Um, moving into this section, we have an echo length knob right here. So when we activate our echo here, our echo strength, you can hear right now that we've activated the echo. This will actually control the length of our echo, and we can just go down and bring it down there. If we go all the way to the right on the echo, that that actually gives us more strength on the echo. Uh, moving along, we have our faders here for music, microphone, and monitor. Uh, the music is what's actually is where we have the port connected to the back here, which is actually connected to our uh, our laptop. So once we start pumping music into this, we can fade in and out the music. Um, our microphone, this is our fader for the microphone, as you can hear right here. And this affects our overall out uh, that's coming on, that's coming from our audio interface which I have going into my recorder right here. Now, moving on to next, this is the fun, this is where the fun stuff starts beginning if it wasn't already fun enough. Uh, we have our voice effects. We have manly man or big deep voice man. We have female, child, and alien. So let's see what that sounds like. And this is what it sounds like when I have my manly voice filter engaged right now so if you're ever looking for a podcast equipment this is the most manliest manliest of all manliest podcast equipment you're ever going to hear now let's see what my beautiful wife thinks about that oh thank you so much for including me in this review i'm so glad you found a time to actually think about me by putting this review no my love i i guarantee you i thought about putting in this video this entire time just uh-uh never mind let me just go on what i think about this filter and yes yeah, so this is a woman filter to be honest with you, I don't think it sounds like a woman filter. At least my wife would be insulted if she thought this was a woman filter. But this is the woman filter or the female voice filter for your enjoyment. Now let's go to the, the kid filter. And this is the kid filter. And again, I don't know if it really sounds like a kid. It sounds like more a chickmunk and maybe a cartoon character. So have fun with this, right? Because now you're going to have well, my, a little kid filter. Now, we're going to get to my favorite filter right now, and which is the alien. Yes, I am the alien within this audio interface, and I have come to take over your audio interface's galaxy with my audio interface's mother ship. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but in my world, it makes plenty of sense. So, um, I have nothing else to say. Goodbye. And of course, if we press the OST, it goes right back to our normal voice. So yeah, so what do you think about that? What do you think about the audio effects? I think they're hilarious. My kids have been playing with this and they've just been having such an amazing time hearing their voice going in, out, all these different things and, and funny things. Uh, I can tell you, they just couldn't, they just could not put this down. Uh, and of course, I didn't have this connected to my PC. I was just like, okay, thank goodness this thing was all on battery. All I had to do was just bring it, set it up in the living room and no wires, and they just had a good time with it. I just have to find a place to connect the, the boom pole. All right, moving on. You can see here that we've got um, some buttons here. Dodge, inner, music only, DNR, light, monitor, Bluetooth, mute, and electric. Now, let's get straight to what the Dodge uh, does. The Dodge is a ducking button. So when you hear me talking right here, if I decide to introduce music from our music port that's coming from our laptop, Every time I speak, it'll bring the music, the volume of the music down so you can hear me. So let's go and bring some music. Uh, right here. Let's find this. All right, so here we go. So let's bring, uh, I'm going to bring this down because I think it, in general it's just a little too loud. Now, as soon as I press the dodge button, you're going to hear the, the music fall down even lower. It's going to fade down some more. So there we go. Now you can hear how the music in the background just kind of drops in the background so I can just kind of speak over to you and have this nice gentle thing happen in the background. And when I stop, you'll hear the music come up. And there you go. Now, as you can see right here, there's this Dodge SP. This is the speed or the attack of how fast the music comes and how ma how fast the music uh, goes. So if I were to go all the way slow, you can see how I really have to say it takes a while for it to come into effect or it's, it's not sense enough for actually do something to it. It's all the way, it's all the way to the left, so it's probably turned off. So let's kind of rise up and see what happens as we go up. And we'll eventually get to a point where the music actually starts uh, be sensitive to my voice and start ducking itself or dodging itself down. So we'll go all the way to max because that's where I just like to leave it. Uh, let's turn this feature off. There we go. And we'll bring our music down. Uh, music down. Uh, music only. You would use this button if you have some music that has a vocal track in it 
and it will try its best to remove the vocal track from the audio. It does this by removing the center channel of the music track. So I've got a song right here. Uh, let's see if we can, what, how it affects it. All right. One, so if I press music only, it removes it from the center channel, but we still kind of have it there. Uh, it doesn't completely, let me, let, me, let me lower that down. It doesn't really completely remove the vocals, but it does its best by throwing in a background. So this will be a good idea for karaoke, right? If you don't want the, the audio track or the vocal track to be too loud so you can sing with it, this might be a good idea. So you're more in front and center um, of the song instead of the actual original vocals being more in front and center. So that's an option. All right, so let's turn it off. Uh, we have our DNR. This is our noise canceling. Right now it's got a noise gate that's just kind of removing any kind of the background noise that is happening. But once I take it off, you hear a lot more noise happening in the background. It's catching the, the AC and little things that are happening, the, uh, the room noise, it's picking all that up. But once you engage it, it's a lot more quieter signal. I definitely recommend leaving that on. All right, moving on is the, the light button, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, light, and there you go. It just kind of turns everything off, which is not engaged. We'll move that on. Uh, monitor, very simple. It shuts off the monitor port, which is happening back here. So as soon as I press this, you won't hear me. So I'll bring that back on. Uh, Bluetooth, very sim simple. Not only do you have connections happening by back here, but you can also connect your phone through a Bluetooth and for an additional sound source. So if you want music coming from your laptop and music coming from your, your, your mobile device, uh, such as a tablet, or, or you know, or your cell phone, whatever, you have another source of audio coming in. Of course, you have your mute, but of course, would actually self-explanatory. And now we have our electric one, which I like to call it the T-Pain effect. And this will actually key your voice within different keys. So as I'm going right here, um, nope, that was weird. Okay, as I'm going here, if I decide to belt a tune, you can hear right now how it's kind of trying to affect my voice. And we can go through the different keys. A major, a flat. B major, D flat, C major, D major. There we go. And we can go through all of them and how it just affects my voice. Now, if I want to turn that off, I can either activate one of the voice filters or go back to the OST for the original voice. Um, okay, our recording. If we're recording directly to the PC using the USB-C, this would affect the recording volume that's being sent to that. Completely different from the speaker volume or the monitor volume that's coming out from there. So this is more like your USB. Uh, Self-explanatory here, you have your power button, hold it down for uh, for an extended period of time, it turns on, hold down again, turns off. And of course you want your 48 volt, 48 volt mic turned on to power our microphone. Uh, let's move to the bottom left, we have our effects volume and vocal pitch. Let's start with the vocal pitch first because it'll make sense. Going back to the manly man, you can affect the vocal pitch by turning the knob and it'll get lighter to the left and it'll get a little more deeper and more engaged, more slow tempo. Um, it's more of like a pitch shift to the right. So we'll go back here and that, yeah, and that. Works for all the additional voice filter effects. Now, effect volume. This affects the volume of all the sound effects right here, okay? So you've got some sound effects and you've got some music uh, right, right here. So each button here has two effects. You activate it either pressing it once. Are you ready? Or if you hold the button, it'll bring up the second effect on the same button. Lady, go! You see? And of course you have it throughout the, the rest of them. So let's go, let's, let's dust it out. Yep. <laughs> second effect. Oh, that was a kiss one. I'll keep that in mind. All right, shots fired, shots fired, ooh. You know, so if you're doing a podcast and someone gives like a deep burn, oh, shots fired. You know, oh man. You, know, you, you would never say that in my neighborhood. Hold it down. Oh, well, there you go. Make sure you never say that to me again. Uh, roof. And of course, meow. Okay, and now we get to our music buttons here where we just press this one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Low Nose Tech Podcast, where we check out everything tech and give you my thoughts and opinions about it. Subscribe right now, like, and all that stuff. All right, so you get that. And then hold again. All right. 
you know, let, let's see if we can match it. All right, everybody, it's Low Nose Tech here on the beach, and the song's over. Any ever second one? Oh, welcome everybody to Low Nose Tech, and it's right now it's the love hour of when it comes to tech, and don't you just love your tech? And we'll hold it again. Oh, this is so silly, because right now we have funny things that we're going to review right here on Low Nose Tech. Thank you very much. And then we have our four custom buttons right here. One, two, three, four. Here, you can actually remove the preset audios that are already on here, and or you can actually add new uh, new audio into here as well. I'll create another video where I'll show you actually how to do that. Uh, but for the sake of time, you have four custom audio buttons as well with already preloaded. Oops, I got to turn this up. Oh, you know what? I think I deleted it by accident. Or probably my daughter. Yeah, she was playing with this thing. Oh, man. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. I I promise you there was something there, but I, I think she got to it. She was like, blue, blue, delete. Um, all right. So, yeah. And, of course, you're right. You have your levels here. One for your headphones. I'm One with the, one that's actually coming out. And then here's your level of your headphones and, of course, your battery power. And like I said before, we're running on nothing but the battery power. Uh, on the inner battery and we're still going with a full battery. I tell you, this thing lasts, this thing just lasts for a while. I had this in my living room and the kids were just playing with it. Just left the house and left it on. It was still on and plenty of power left when I came back. Okay. So with that being said, uh, we've done some cool things so far. Right now, I want to show you probably the coolest thing. We're going to call my son right now who's doing his homework and we're going to have a conversation with him right now. So let's, let's get on to this. All right, we're going to bring this up. And let's give him a call. We're going live right now. Going live with Low Nose Tech. Ring number two on the million dollar question. Ring number three. Oh, no, he's going to lose his millions. I might really have to get up and get this boy. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what a burn. All right, let's call my wife. She doesn't know I'm calling. At least my son had the heads up. My wife has no idea. Call has been forwarded oh to man, <laughs> who can I call? All right, I'm gonna call my son again. Oh, man. How dare they not be ready during a, a product review? Let's go. He's, how is my how is my 13 year old son not picking up his phone? Like that thing is like surgically attached to him. Ugh, I'm actually going to have to get him. Must be a first to tell a kid to have their phone with them. All right, here we go. I'm making a call now. Yes, father. I'm hey, on. Lucas, what's going on? All right, you're you're live with Lono Tech, and we're doing this product review right now. Uh, and just we just wanted to get your, I don't know, we just wanted to get you to say some things. Say hello to everybody. Hello. No. Okay, great. Doesn't he sound like a moody teenager? All right. So, um. <laughs> yes. Dad joke? Bad joke. No. Oh, oh, was that a bad joke or a dad joke? Both. What's the difference? Oh, yeah. yeah fair, fair point. All right. Thank you so much for this test. What? When are you gonna pay me? Get out of my room, please. <laughs> nope. Get back into your cage. Bye. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Okay. So um. Yeah. Uh, that's been it. That's that's basically it. Uh, I want to give you my final thoughts right now on this audio interface uh, kit with a microphone. Uh, number one, I gotta say this thing is top notch. If I have to give you a recommendation, this is good. L like I said before. I'm super suppressed, not suppressed. I'm super surprised by how well this microphone sounds. 
throughout this entire thing. Um, you know, when I, when I did my test and I brought it to my computer and I actually listened to my speakers, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Like this thing sounds like that. You know, it, it sounds way better than you expect. And, and wow. Uh, and, and yeah, so yeah. So, so the highlight is the microphone, uh, the, the actual interface itself. It's, it's solid. It's very light, very portable. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to double back. It's got two cords that comes with it. So you may have to get some additional cords connected to your, to your, uh, to your laptop into a speaker. Um, and yeah, if you're looking to get into podcasting and do live streaming without breaking the bank, you know, nice barrier to entry, then definitely check this out. Uh, what is it called again? Uh, the, <laughs> the, uh, the Hanersick podcast, the, the Hanersick podcast equipment bundle audio with an audio interface. And that's it guys. All right, guys, I really hope this review helped, uh, help you out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. How does this sound? Any questions about this? Um, anything you can think of, um, I'll do my best to answer your question in the comment section down below. I'll also leave links for this as well. So you can see other reviews or pick up your, pick up, uh, pick up your own. Uh, I gotta say, if you're looking for something for a young kid who's just who just wants to have a lot of fun, uh, something to stir up their creative juices and just kind of see what comes from it. This is definitely a great starting point. You you can't go wrong with this. Uh, you hi highly recommend it. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, really hope you like this video. Remember, learn, do and share. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. It's actually pretty good.